Welcome back, everybody. You know, in the sci-fi uh, movie many of you might have seen with Tom Cruise, Minority Report, cops picked up criminals before they committed their crimes. You get it? Way back in 2002 when the movie came out, it seemed like, well, the stuff of pure fantasy. Well, in one California city, that fantasy, almost a reality. Welcome to the future, folks. Police in Santa Cruz, California are getting closer to predicting crime using an algorithm, a complicated math equation similar to the one, you to, to the one that would predict, for example, an earthquake aftershock. The system tracks and pinpoints crimes up to the minute, then spits out detailed maps, daily forecast, showing where new crimes are most likely to crop up. And it turns out things working. System so accurate it can even predict when the crime will occur, what type of crime it'll be, past crimes, the weather, even the day of the week, all factors here in trying to uh, get ahead of it, if you will. Um, location as well. So criminals also like to hit the same spot more than once if they think they can get away with it. And for places like Santa Cruz, where the police force slashed by 20%, along with all the budget cuts we're seeing coast to coast, this technology, well, it sure certainly seems to help. So predictive policing doesn't mandate arrests in so-called hotspots, but it does cause police officers to pay special attention to such areas and also profiling, if you will. One Santa Cruz police officer explained it this way, it does give me legal reason to arrest somebody just for being in my hotspot, but it gives me good reason to stop and ask why they are doing it. It also, as I said, seems to be working. Santa Cruz police have made several arrests in just six weeks using the technology, and the cops say predictive policing likely contributing to the 27% drop in burglaries just in the month of July compared to a year prior. Now, major cities across the country, including L.A., starting to start with some programs similar to this. Okay, so it's a cute story out in California, but this is where it gets a little sci-fi. According to a new report out from Carnegie Mellon, People can be identified and personal information, including social security numbers, can be accessed using facial recognition software. That's right, a picture of your face. In one experiment, the researchers able to positively identify students walking on campus based solely on their Facebook profile photos. Sophistic uh, sophisticated devices not needed. A smartphone, an internet connection, all you need. So the future in which we're all identifiable on the street is near. Well, if that in any way seems cool to you, okay, but if it also made you a little uneasy, well, get ready for this. Japan now has digital billboards tailored to passing shoppers. Signs, they can use that facial recognition software to identify a shopper's gender, ethnicity, and approximate age. Then the billboard will change the ad tailored to your demographic. So if they see Andrew, hip-hop music is going to be going crazy. I kid. Naturally. Yes, exactly. It's suspended. It's suspended Ladies right. and gentlemen, um, this stuff is not just, oh, make-believe and a good thing for a movie. It's happening. And I guess the question is, you all comfortable with this? Is this just part of our new reality in the 21st century? Or are we just kind of accepting that privacy is one of the casualties with technology? Um, does this stuff make you feel a little bit weird at all or no? It does. You know, I wonder about the story out of California. Have there also been an increase in false arrests, for instance? You know, you're talking about something preemptive, predictive. Sure, there can be success stories there, but are they also tracking any kind of, of false arrests or problems with that? Um, I do. It does make me a little bit concerned. You know, when you get on the Internet and it says to you, oh, 25 of your friends also liked this, and they start popping up ads, it, it, it is a little bit unsettling to me, I have to say. I, I'm open to the new technology, but I do find it a little bit intrusive. You know, after 9-11, Dominic, we always heard the argument um, when there was a lot of privacy infringements that were going on, uh, not just Patriot, but even some of the, the nuttier stuff out there. Hey, do nothing wrong, you got nothing to worry about. Um, and with the technology, it seems to kind of uh, obviously take it a step uh, even further than that. Is this cool with you or no? Well. If you talk to the civil liberties folks, they will tell you they have a problem with this in terms of the profiling, how far that goes, uh, who's actually profiled. But I am of that belief of if you don't have anything to worry about, if you haven't done anything, you don't have anything to hide. I mean, you know, you mentioned Japan, that this stuff has been done in Japan. I've been to Japan, and trust me, all you have to do is look around for five minutes technology-wise, and you know they're ahead of us leaps and bounds. I don't have a problem with it. 
I think that if you haven't done anything See, I'm wrong, surprised. I figured really? we, we've all heard the expression driving while black. We know what yes, happens with New Jersey Turnpike. And it I know this quite be a more high technology. It happens quite a bit. And if the argument to you, Dominic, is, hey, didn't do anything wrong. You got nothing to worry about. Um, are you still so accepting like, hey, it comes with the territory? I, I believe that in the, the day and age that we live in uh, after September 11th, this is one of the things that we have to deal with in terms of have the freedom that we have. You know, I, in other words, to have the freedom we're going to have, we have to give up our freedom. Right. Let me see if not I understand give up, this. Not give up our full Hold freedom. Part of if it. the California model is merely about where you put cops, it's a staffing pattern. It's perfectly fine. But if, like in New York, you have cameras yeah. that right now, the, in, in Nassau County, the DA of Nassau County had a, a, a license plate recognition uh, pr uh, device. You put it on the street. It it took pictures of the license plate if you went through a high crime area. And if you weren't from that area, they sent you a letter saying, what are you doing in town? Mm -hmm. You think I'm making this stuff no. up? No, we covered okay. the story. The, 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 the fact of it is that it is the Dominic Carters of this world who are the big danger. Not because of intelligence or, or, or human decency. He's a fine, fine fella. Because if you, for the, a moment, give up the, the, the margins of what he's willing to give up, then you've given up the core. Well, let me ask you, though, Richard, end, haven't we already? And, and just In many ways Okay, let's say you take a trip up to Albany, okay? You got a new car. Easy you got Pass. Easy Pass. Easy Pass knows where you are. Um, the new cars have, like, tracking devices built into the newer models. The cameras on the your, road. Your cell phone. The cameras that the DOT you. has on the road photographing people essentially for traffic control. I didn't hear the a hiccup about it. Oh. It's a, okay, maybe people, all right, we heard complaints, but at the end of the day, I didn't get to vote on this. This was simply a reality that now you get in your car and your expectation of privacy, forget if I even go in the Nassau County, is a lot it's less than Richard, it used to be. But and we say never it's mind. It's worse than that. These algorithms are used to monitor every phone call that an American makes where they can pick up words. If you use the word bomb on a telephone call, there is a process where the NSA can identify that call and take such steps to further investigate. But isn't that a good thing? Isn't that a good you thing? You know, Dominic, I, 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 I guess I don't think it is. And I, uh, in the end, I think that, that America has been a, a beacon of liberty around the world, not because we are the, the most efficient or effective or safe society, but because we're the most free. And for all of those who are deeply concerned about government intrusion, these Tea Party people, government intrusion in the economy, uh, too much regulation. You look at uh, things like abortion or uh, of, uh, freedom to make phone calls. They don't care. They aren't conservatives. They're radical extremists. And probably, Andrew, the most compelling oh. argument is history is a guide. We've seen what's happened when you give unchecked power. I, was, I, was, I mean, I was about to time after that. time, well, we saw what happened to Dr. King. We saw what happened uh, uh, certainly under Ho I mean, we can what, keep going down the line. Once you open it up and, yeah. and give people access to that power and information, they always use it and they always eventually abuse it. But we're talking about facial recognition, and the NYPD has a facial recognition process in place right now. It's called officers' eyes and their brains. And the result of that facial recognition program is that stop and frisk program where 85% of the people who are being stopped and frisked are black or Hispanic, or where 82% of the marijuana possession arrest cases but, but are of blacks and say, Hispanics. You know what the police say about that. I don't even have to tell you, Andrew, no, because you're an expert at what you do. You know the police will tell you that it's blacks. And I'm not saying that this is true. They will tell you that it's blacks and Hispanics that are committing the crimes. I understand that, but, but the fear is that you're going to take this profiling process and simply institutionalize it to a point where it's a computer that's doing it instead of the individuals who are doing it, and you'll wind up you know, continuing this pattern, There's which is a problematic a way to balance the need for security and safety with the things that made America great. But the only and, not and the only right thing now. is, this is 9/11 we're talking about now alone. This is now new technology that's outpacing um, what the laws and the books are, and even the practicality. So. Uh, I, again, this debate uh, will continue. We're going to take a quick break here. 